You cannot come in here. <laughs> oh my, oh, it's so scary. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Throw something. No, I'm afraid. Lily, right arm first, left arm behind you. All the way behind. Okay, is your right arm, yeah, keep coming. Yeah, I right arm is first. So, tilt your body towards your left arm. Up. Okay. It'll give you more space to move that direction. There you go, just like that. Now you can swim through. Nice. And you keep your arm up the whole time. Oh, you're flying through. Yeah, no, this is not bad. Wait till, you, yeah, you're a smaller body, but. Yeah. It also took us 10 trips. Right there, it's a little snug. I don't know why, I thought it would be worse. Cause, cause fat people have tried this before <laughs> you. It's snug right there though, huh? This is so chill. After months of work, planning, and maneuvering, we had finally breached this small passage. Yeah, I forgot, you gave him a big light. Just like that. Right there is a little tight. Back up, let him out. <laughs> Left arm up. Warning, the actions and stunts performed in this video were done so by professionals. Do not enter a cave without a cave tour guide. You guys don't have to stand around. I, you just don't want to, um, there's a shelf right there that's a little bit. Woo, this makes me need a pee. Yeah, right there, right there it got tight for me. Oh. And I was pushing that bag and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> How am I feeling now? <laughs> Sitting in the fan. It's touching my butt. Yeah. It didn't even take me on a deep press. Oh, that's the piece I broke. Yeah, that's the piece I broke off. <laughs> it's right here. My niece was like, oh, it's so easy. I don't understand why you said this was hard. I was like, well, some of us are fat. You weigh 100 pounds. That's a good looking color outfit, don't you think, Jacob, that combo? Oh, yeah. That looks fantastic. I'm proud of him. You could see how the smaller, younger right there, people fit through this much better than the full-grown adults. Yeah, you just gotta, like, turn on your, turn at a slight angle. Right, it's uh, the phantom arm position. Yeah. And then drop that arm once you're through. <laughs> and it's the worst thing I've ever been through. <laughs> After several weeks of exploring this cave, we found this passage and were able to wiggle our way through and discover what lied just beyond. <laughs> Isn't that bonkers? Careful, yeah, the floor is hollow. It's it's cave under there. Yeah, it's no big deal. But that green does show up, huh? Oh, black. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Real yeah, be careful. Help. Make sure Lily slides down there. That looks so dangerous from here. I don't approve of this. Our initial haste in trying to find a way down through the cave led Arlen to attempt this terrifying feat. I can't believe how big this is. This is already probably better than all the other caves combined. Size. Yeah. Okay, it looks like you can get into this, but like I said, that. Uh, well, you're you're probably on a shelf there. You want to be what careful. I'm We've made so many great discoveries recently, including the large portion of this cave, but nothing could prepare us for what we found lurking in the darkness. We noticed this cave had an odd space behind the wall which Jacob was accessing. Oh, whoa. Maybe if I like part of it. Should have brought the sliders in. That's bonkers. The whole thing's separated, huh? You're about to get something really weird. It's stand up. Is it? Yeah. Is it a whole arm? Um, Yes. Let, let me let me confirm. All right. Oh, holy crap! What? Calvin, it's yeah. a three hundred foot drop at least. <laughs> if the cave is probably like I can see a mile. Okay. Okay. Let me let me uh let me get in there. 
Be careful, guys. There's rocks where I'm at. We might move these. <sighs> okay. And it's straight dock. It's a straight rock. Okay, let me get in here. Just okay. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, he's not lying! Holy crap! You cannot come in here. <laughs> oh my! I'm gonna throw a rock down. I throw a rock down. Oh, it's so scary. Oh my goodness! It's like 400 feet across. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> No, I'm afraid. It's a straight drop. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna have Jacob throw something. Dude, you're, you undersold this. Wait, this is the biggest, oh my goodness. I'm gonna throw something. <laughs> it doesn't make any sound. Okay, we're gonna throw a big rock and we're gonna time it. My light, my big light does not, I, I can't, okay. Let's get a bigger, a little bit bigger rock. I'm gonna give you one. Okay. I'm gonna give it a throw. We're, we're doing this for timing. Yeah. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Wait, no, no. Bottom. Still going. What? Okay, I can see the bottom. Okay, hold on to my pant leg, my pants. No, no, get a hold of the pants, the whole thing. I'm leaning back. Oh, wow! It goes below that, too. Is it like a cave? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna lay down on the dirt and look. Okay, I'm holding you. Pin my legs in. Yeah. Without good lighting, it appeared the darkness was infinite. The space behind the cave turned into something altogether different. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that. Nothing else we find will ever matter. That's the single largest chamber in any lava tube probably in the in the United States. Um y'all want to tell me how to get out? Can you shot call for Jacob? I'm a little bit panicked. Dude, you would have sold that. Oh, yeah. Dude, I didn't want to like panic anyone. Well, I I freaked out. That's unbelievable. Yeah, Finley came in. Finley and Lily. Finley and Lily came in and just found the entire... Right Should I turn around on my back? No, you're good. That's how I come out, just like that. Oh, thank you, Jacob. We decided to gear up okay, you can go back and drop the next into the pit of despair. Oh, that's a nightmare, dude. Okay, yeah, that's no problem. We have about five feet, and then we're vertical. So For the record here, this was quite on. scary. We okay. did not yeah. know what was in the pit or how it was configured. Sometimes these edges have loose dirt, and they're not very stable. And we took quite a bit of time to evaluate this and set up proper and safe lines. But in the end, you have to go in blind. And we didn't know. And for that reason, this was pretty exciting. This is like a 50 foot from right here. Yeah. Here we go, ready? Down, 10 feet, a little bit of dust so don't look up. There's lava down here. Looks like it's gonna be a lava tube. Halfway. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get on the, uh, I'm gonna get on the walkie-talkie. I'm gonna describe a couple things to you, over. Okay. Okay, here at the bottom, once you're down on the line, it is better to get out of the way because there is unstable, like a lot of rocks and stuff come down. Off the line. Go out there in the middle. I can take your, take your picture. Go out in the middle.
Jacob has been a great caving partner over the years and no longer needs assistance right, for buddy. anything. He's willing to take his own life into his own hands, and here he is, risking it all for cave glory as he descends into the madness. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That is like a... It goes back on. Yeah. Uh, do I just walk down all the way? Slowly. Now, Jacob, don't look up because there's a lot of dirt going to be coming down. And move, and don't move too slow. Perfect. Stop if you want to look around from there. But, yeah, okay, here he comes. Long descents in the smooth quiet are treasured by cavers and they will travel long distances to find them. It's very soft and steep where you're landing, so you're going to stay on the line and walk down a little bit. Our exploration of the lower regions begins immediately. Hang on. Keep our subs up. Wow, so probably good guys. Walk in there. Boy, that red is snappy. Thank you. Do the sideways moonwalk. Check out some of the colors on those ceilings. Wow. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. It's called six inches. All right. Look. Look at this. Look at this stuff. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Look over there. Look at this. Up. You want to see if it goes? Honestly, oh. some of the most colorful lava passages you will ever see. Such beauty and brightness with the reds and oranges and yellows. Does it go? I can see 20 feet. Okay. And then it uh, keeps going, but it curves up where you can't see it. Isn't that weird? Looks like there's water that low flows through the Fantastic stuff, man. I'm gonna see if I can get a different angle on Oscar. It's a shoulder bag. It's in my shoulder bag. Oh, it's attached to something. Yeah, it clips on things. Yo. Do you read over? He said yeah. Oh. No, I'm not reading anything. Ask him if he's getting on the line. Are you on the line? Or are you getting on it? Roger that. Roger. Man, this is deeper than I thought. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It, no, the other side. Well, so it's a diving lava tube, and it is very deep. Yeah. Well, Jacob, you went the second fastest. <laughs> That's a great picture right there. Let me we'll take the tour, and then we'll uh, go where no man has treaded. So, um... Yeah, and it literally on my map shows that it pretty much is underneath that. Like some of it's underneath this, but that's 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 terrifying, huh? So this is, yeah, I just don't understand if it's the same flow of lava. But this is the high end. I love how there's varying levels of what people will do that's sketchy, just depending on the person. Oh, okay. Jacob, we can just walk down right here. Uh -oh. oh yeah, you're, that's fine though. We can put the. Oh, it's very, it's very solid. Do you Plus smell? Oscar farted. There's no gas in here. He can smell sulfur. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I told, I told, uh, I told you, Jacob can smell that stuff. If we start getting headaches, we should uh, leave. Well, oh, I'm. Uh, that's. Tell them we're fine. If we start getting headaches. But actually, all it's lava tube. You're doing the thing most people do. You, you get the vertical gear on, and it's just your life now. No, that's a... <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. I know, but it makes everything a pain. Oscar dropping down to the bottom of this cave. You can see the colors on the walls in here is just mesmerizing. We've never seen anything with quite these vibrant of colors. Like I don't mean black, but I mean it's that kind of lava. We actually don't have answers as to why it is this way in yeah, this area. The rest of the cave is not like this, but having dropped down into this deep pit, the colors were different, so we speculate as to whether it was different lava flow or it just made some different way. We just have more questions than answers now, but we're very excited to explore this area. It's just deep or thick all in here. It just that probably that's why it's all collapsed. This is Stella and yeah, Sophie, and, and they're helping us explore the new area of the cave. All right, guys. Right above you, Stella, we call that the dragon spine. 
That's fantastic. Not going to be a lot of trips this far back in the cave, so we were kind of sad to head out, but this is Oscar getting on the line. You online? Okay. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's gone. How beautiful for Oscar skies. Getting out takes a lot longer than getting in. It takes a while, huh? Full of deep mud. Dirt and debris rain down while Oscar is ascending the line. There are many dangers and difficulties, so it takes us some time to get to the top. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. <laughs> you give love a bad name, Toby. <laughs> I included some footage of some subsequent trips, and that's why you see Sophie there, previous to Jacob, on the line. I can pull slack out of it if it's helpful. You want more slack out? There's a little edge on the top of this climb that is really hard to get over. It's very dirty, and you don't have anything to grip. And even though your equipment should allow you to ascend, a lot of the gear gets gummed up in the dirt and gets muddy by the end of the day. Everything today with you guys is fine. Because I cave with other old people, and we're just pretending to be young. <laughs> y'all, are, y'all are a little too quick. That's okay. got to be done. Oh, it's funny, I forgot how deep it was. I thought Lily just disappeared. This is a six-foot railroad right here. That lava just came through here. I have no idea how the other portion formed. Yeah, he's got it. Lily, let him go. You don't want to get on his ankles. Plus I want to film it. Okay, it's also hard with this light. I don't have like, a, it's fine if I don't have a light, but yeah. Left arm, left arm forward, right arm over the ship. feels unfair how much easier it is really for these the smaller pitch. bodies to slide through here. This is a treacherous way through the cave. It's very it's difficult and it took us a long time to find a way through. Yep. It's okay, you good Lily? Your pants are off a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, go, go to the right side when stuff gets caught. Boy, that's an awful pinch. Jacob, it's gonna take a while to kind of eva- emotionally evaluate that pit. Um, I can't believe that thing exists. My light was on low and I just looked and I couldn't see it. I'm like, um, it's yeah. at least 100 feet across. You're like, there, there, there. Jacob actually isn't the smallest one on this trip, so it's a little harder for him than it is for the others. And uh, in a second here, I actually hang my bag on his ankles so he can tow it through. And this is Oscar. Oscar went with Jacob and I on the initial trip to get down into the pit. So we were part of that expedition. Oscar was part of that expedition. This is him leaving the cave on that day. The full-grown adult bodies once again having a lot more trouble than the younger people. Uh, But Oscar is pretty much an expert at this. finally makes his way through. This is Stella the cave dweller and she's also become quite the expert and helped us and went down into the pit with us on a subsequent expedition and this is her leaving the cave. You can see that pretty much no adults are going to go in there with gear. How was the anomaly for you, bud? Uh, mind altering, changed my brain chemistry. <laughs> Give me a little, took the breath out of me a little bit. <laughs> we popped through into history. We found one of the largest cave passages, cave rooms, probably. There's a sinkhole in a cave, a complete anomaly. We have no idea what to do with ourselves. This is a profile view of the lower portion of the cave only. You can see that it's several passages high and the big dragon pit in the bottom. How cool is that? This is one of the groups that made it in and all the way to the pit. Sarah, Stella, Sophie, and Jacob. There's Sophie by her precious rock stack, which she made. That's Jacob and I packing out all the gear. And here's the discovery team putting out the vibe. I don't know why the the bugs like Lily. 